Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to cover a few questions today off the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB. Now remember, the mathematical knowledge portion is not so much word problems as it is straight mathematical content. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. Number six on the ASVAB mathematics knowledge, we're looking at 0.05 divided by x is equal to 1. So if I rewrote this instead of using this division symbol, because we're not really used to that all the time, we would have 0.05 divided by x is equal to 1. Now, there's lots of different ways you can do this, but I essentially want to get x by itself. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move x over to this side. So that's going to end up being 1 times x. Now, how did I move it to the other side? Well, when you're dividing, the opposite of dividing is multiplying, so you multiply both sides by x. When you do that, you get 1 times x over here, and the x times the divided by x cancel out over here. So I'm just left with that 0 0.05 is equal to 1 times x. But we know that 1 times any number is just that number. So that means that that 1 essentially times x is just going to leave us with x. Well, then in that case, then x is equal to 0.05. So that means our answer here is going to be A. So your standard end of algebra 1 question here says to factor x squared minus 6x plus 9. Now, what does it mean to factor something? It means that you have to find two things when multiplied by each other will give you this as an answer. And you can see here they have that written out. So like anytime you see the squared, that means you're just doing that twice. So this would just be x minus 3 times x minus 3. So we got to go ahead and separate this in the two sets of parentheses. And usually you take this first guy right here and you split it in half. There's no number out front, so that's just going to be x times x. Now, the way that this works is you have to find two numbers that multiply to this number and add to this number, okay? So we need to multiply to the 9, add to the six, negative 6. So what numbers multiply to the 9 but add to negative 6? Well, if you look at negative 3 and negative 3, negative 3 times negative 3 would give you a positive 9, whereas negative 3 plus negative 3 would give you a negative 6. So that's going to be our answer here is this x minus 3, x minus 3. Now, we already looked at that, that x minus 3 squared is just that, so that means our answer here is going to be C. So number eight on the ASVAB mathematics knowledge is this long mess of a question here. Now it says, what's the value of x? So we're just solving to get x by itself. So when I'm looking through all of this, it looks like it's just a dumpster fire of numbers, but let's just go ahead and work through. Remember, you don't have a calculator here, so you do have to take each step individually. Three times two is going to give me six. All right, then we got seven minus two is going to give me five and 6 plus 2 is going to give me 8. So we have these three numbers being multiplied together on this side, while on the other side of the equation we have 6 times 4 times x. All right. Now, I could go through and multiply all this out and do all this stuff, but I'm not going to because I think it's going to be faster to start canceling things out that are on both sides. For example, I have a 6 over here and a 6 over here, so if I divided this 6 to the other side, it would cancel both of them out, so we can get rid of that. Also, if I have this 4 and an 8 right here, I know that 8 is 4 times 2, so I can go ahead and cancel out this 4 with that 4, and I'm just left with 5 times 2 is equal to my x. Everything else has canceled out. So what is 5 times 2? Well, that's pretty easy. It's just 10. So that means my final answer here is C. So number 9 is a pretty basic algebra question where it's just going to ask us to solve for our x. Well, this is just the military entrance exam, so I'm sure it's not meant to be too hard. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Remember, to move things to the other side of an equation, the other side of an equal sign, you do the opposite of what is currently on there. So if you're adding, the opposite of that is subtracting. If you're multiplying, the opposite of that is dividing. So anytime you see one of these, you do the opposite to move it to the other side, and then you just do that to both sides. So in this case, the first thing I want to do is get x by itself. Well, I see there's two x's over here and an x over here. That means I'm probably going to want to move this x over here and move this 6 over here. Now, let's start off with the 6. Since I'm subtracting, I'm going to add 6 to both sides. Now, I'm going to end up combining it with the 5 because that doesn't have an x involved and it would all be the same otherwise. So we're going to cancel out our 6's here and we're going to be left with 2x equals x plus 5 plus 6 is 11. 
Now I'm going to subtract x from each side. Because we're adding this x to 11, I can subtract it from each side to cancel it out. Now 2x's minus 1x is going to leave me with 1x. Well, in that case then, we've canceled out all the x's over here. We have x over here equals 11. So that's our final answer. And it looks like we're looking at b. All right, number 10, I feel like looks a lot worse than it is. It says, what does I equal if I is P times R times T? And it gives us P, R, and T. Now, multiplying anything by 1 just leaves it with itself. So that means in this case, with T being equal to 1, we actually don't have to worry about the T at all. Really, we're just going to be doing 1,000 times this 7%. So I got 1,000 times... 7%. Now remember, 7% is 0 0.07 if we're looking at a number. Now, right off the bat, I can already see what this answer is going to be because whenever you're multiplying by zeros like this, like the 1,000 here, you're essentially just moving the decimal place that many times to the right. So in this case, I would be moving it three times to the right, putting it right here and bringing another zero. So right there, I can see that it should be an answer of 70. But also, you could go the other route and say, okay, I'm going to do 0.07 times 1,000. Well, the 7 times 1 is going to give me a 7. And then I have the three zeros, 1, 2, 3. But with that, because we had two decimals here, we need to move our final answer two decimals over as well to right here. And again, we end up at this answer of 70. So either way, it looks like our answer here is D. Hey guys, that's all we're going to cover for today. But remember, you can always click on any of these videos over here to help you keep studying for your next attempt on the ASVAB.